Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and here's just a short video on an impulse purchase I made today. I popped into um, a garden centre to get some uh, thin bamboo canes, which I needed, uh, which I didn't have, and it has suddenly occurred to me it'd be a good idea if they had one to pick up a uh, Passiflora cyrulea while I was in there. This is the standard, hardiest um, blue... I call it the blue passion flower, but of course it's white with uh, with sort of like a, a magenta or blue colour on it. That's a little bit misleading, the colour on there. I'd say it's a bit more blue than that. Uh, now, the reason I thought I'd get this is it's quite a good size. Um, if my Maypop or Passiflora incarnata happens to survive the winter again like it did last winter um, it doesn't set fruit because they're self-sterile when you've got one plant so as it's extremely difficult to buy incarnata in this country and if I get one from the same supplier it's going to be a clone from the same plant because they don't um, they don't grow them from seed he's been growing them as far as I know from cuttings of the stem or root um, I've uh, heard from numerous sources reliably that the Cyrulia is a good cross-pollinator for the Maypops. I thought what I'd do is buy one of these because they're extremely hardy. In fact, you can see this one here's even got a flower bud on it still. They're extremely hardy, so this obviously should survive the winter and will flower next summer. And if my incarnata happens to survive, I will be able to use this as a pollinator wasn't the cheapest plant in the world came from my local garden center 18 pounds 99 having said that it's got uh, two or three good stems at the bottom um, and as i said it's it's already got flower buds or had flowers on it which means it's big enough to flower so if i get this in the ground fairly soon and my other one survives the winter i should have two plants side by side that will cross pollinate each other so not only will I get probably better quality orange fruits on the cyrulea although they're not really very nice to eat the flesh um, I'll also have hopefully a chance of getting through set on my incarnata which should be a little bit nicer to eat if it gets flesh in them so I just thought I'd show that as it was an impulse purchase that is about just under four feet tall just over a meter tall including the pot so should do well over winter and uh, hopefully um, grow next spring and i suppose if the incarnata was to possibly not survive the winter at least i'll have a um at least i'll have a nice ornamental cyrulea that should survive extremes of cold anyway thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel, share the video, I think it might be useful to anyone, and click on the bell to get updates on new videos when they come out. I'll see you all in the next video. Brett out for now.